Let's take a look how to make this RGB blend text effect here in After Effects. First, we're going to create a new composition. I'm going to go with uh, these settings. I'm also going to set it on 4 seconds. Click OK. Select the Type tool. Type in something. Let's go and align it to the center. Press the letter S and scale it up. Now press the letter P for position. I'm going to activate the stopwatch. And I'm going to bring the text down somewhere here. Let's bring it to the first second. And I'm going to bring it up. Press and hold Shift to isolate. And I'm going to place it somewhere here. Now let's go to the second second. And I'm going to select the first keyframe. Press Control c Control v Let's select all the keyframes. Right click, go to keyframe assist, select Easy Ease. You also can go to the graph editor, select these paths at the bottom, and drag the handles to the left. So the animation is going to look something like this. I'm going to deactivate the graph editor, right click on the text layer. Let's go to pre composition, rename it as text, click OK. Press Ctrl D to duplicate the text layer, and I'm going to go and select the bottom text layer. And let's go to the effects and presets, type in echo, drag and drop the echo on the second text layer. And I'm going to go to the echo time, delete the 333. I'm going to add another 0 and 6. Enter. I'm going to increase the number of the echo to 160. And I'm going to bring down the decay to 0 0.97. Let's go to echo operator and change it to maximum. Now, by the way, this is going to slow down your computer a little bit. So now the echo looks something like this. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in colorama, and drag and drop it under the echo. And we're going to go to the input phase and change up the intensity to alpha. Let's open up the output cycle and here you can change up the colors however you like. If you want to remove some of the colors, you can drag the handles out and that's going to remove it. If you want to change up the colors, you can double click on the handle and that way you can add another color. As you can see right now, it doesn't look that smooth. So we're going to go to the effects and presets, type in Gaussian blur and drag it under the colorama. I'm going to increase the blurriness to 5.5. I'm also going to add some green, drag it under the Gaussian blur. Let's go to preview, change it to final output, preset, Kodak Vision 250. And I'm going to increase the intensity to 1.5. And pretty much that's how you make this colorful echo effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.